Hello everybody, as you can see, I am holding a vintage box, I guess you could say. Vintage, anyway, it's a, a Schaefer. And you can see the little white dot, which has become the symbol of Schaefer. Used to stand for a uh, lifetime warranty, then it just stood for warranty while it's owned by the same, the original owner. And now it's just become sort of a, a symbol of Schaefer and quality, I suppose and so on. Now, Schaefer, this is um, a beautiful pen, actually. I'm going to open it up. Uh, it's a Schaefer Balance II, um, and as you can see, it has the original box, which is always nice when you buy an old pen and you get the box. Uh, you don't. It doesn't happen very often, but this is not my pen. It's, it's a loaner from a friend, uh, and he thought I would like to take a look at it, and I really appreciate it. And, and a shout out to Rudolph for that. I really appreciate let, you letting me to letting me uh, look at your pen here. So it comes in a cardboard sleeve, and you open it up, and inside is a nice, uh, actually a very nice box. Uh, Schaefer on it again, kind of sort of a not too sure. It might be a vinyl material on the top. It's sort of a clamshell. You open it up, and inside Schaefer balance. Um, but to be specific, the Schaefer Balance 2. And inside it, you see this beautiful green emerald color, jade. Uh, the actual color number, the color is jade, green jade. And if you look on the bottom of the box here, you see Schaefer Balance, uh, jade green fountain pen with a medium nib and the uh 874 is the uh code number for the pen now schaefer introduced the balance the original balance back in 1929 and it was kind of a <clears throat> it was kind of a new look pen in many ways it was kind of a how would, I, how would I describe it? Now you look at it, you see <clears throat> a traditional, you know, cigar-shaped fountain pen. So many companies have made these. But the balance uh, was was kind of a interesting design because it was pointy. Before that, most, most fountain pens would be sort of squared off at the end, you know, just cut flat top, flat bottom, and so on and so on. So in 1929, they came out with this rather... Interesting torpedo, cigar-shaped cigar fountain pen. Kind of a, a new design trend. And others started to copy it, of course. And I don't know if they were the first ones to do it specifically, but they were one of the big manufacturers at the time to bring out this pen. And so, what do you get when you look at it? My first impression is, it is a striking-looking pen. It's just... The, the material is, is very handsome. Um, it has a traditional sort of a clip from shape, like from a it, kind of a throwback to the 20s, 30s, 40s, sort of a little, you know, step right here on the clip. You see this on, say, Cross and, well, Schaefer and uh, a few other manufacturers using that style of clip. I'm not going to spring it too much, but it's a sturdy clip. And of course, the classic white tot <laughs> right there. So let's see, what can I tell you about this pen? Um, in some ways, the balance to is the last kick at the can for Schaefer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, this pen on, on the nib, I'm going to unscrew it. It's a screw cap. And there you have a rather attractive dual tone nib um it's schaefer's feather touch 18 karat gold and it says on the nib i don't know if you can see it made in the usa and then well you know what happened with schaefer it got bought by other companies it got sold and eventually <clears throat> they closed down the united uh, manufacturing in the united states and <clears throat> now it's it's, I'm assuming, being manufactured in China by a company in France. France? I, I forget exactly who owns Schaefer now. It's, it's uh, disappeared into one of those <laughs> conglomerates. 
And, uh, well, uh, it's, it's kind of sad, really, you know, um, what has become of, like, it, one of, the, of Schaefer, I think, personally. I would love to see somebody purchase Schaefer and restore it to its glory, you know, bring back that craftsmanship and care. So, okay, let's get back to the pen. Just looking at it, it's it's a striking pen. There's a short little section here. It's but it it's comfortable. It's not a huge pen. It um, you know it when you open it up, it looks like it's a fairly long pen, and it, it is a good sized pen. I'm just going to hold it up next to a. I'm just going to set it next to this Echo here, Twisby Echo. So it's a little bit longer, and we're going to discuss a couple features about this pen. It's, you know, it, it, it is comfortable in the hand, and as you notice, it's not my pen, so I'm not posting this pen. But I'm also going to say that I've been reading a bit online about it, and it recommends, if you own one of these pens, not to post it. Um, it was made in 1998. Um the material is, is it, it feels very well made. It feels, you know, there's some quality to it, but there's also issues of fragility with the cap right here. So if you post it and you're rough with it, you, you might get crackage here and some crackage on the little tips and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it recommends, you know, uh, just everywhere I've read, handle with care, don't post. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand like this, and we're going to do a little writing sample. Um, I'm not too sure what ink is in this pen at the moment, so I'm just, but I am just going to try it. Okay, so it's the Schaefer. You know, I, now it says Schaefer Balance on it. I'm just going to open that up, but it's the, it is the Schaefer Balance too. I could be wrong, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Schaefer Balance too. Uh, medium nib, of course. And I'm not too sure what ink is in it, but it's a rather attractive blue. Um, so I'm just going to do a really quick write, writing sample. The quick brown fox... Writing with it, it's a very smooth nib. Um, little hint of feedback, which is very nice, actually. Quite quite pleasant to write with. Um, I wouldn't push this pen, of course. It's not a flex nib in any way. Um, And I'd say, actually, it's it's a fairly wet pen. I'm not, I'm not too sure what ink is in here. But it feels very wet. It, it has a nice flow. Um, I, can, I can hear a bit of... I can hear a bit of uh, sound as I write, uh, which is kind of nice, too. You get a little bit of feedback, like I said. There's a bit of... Um, it's not scratchy in any way, but it's not a silent nib when you're when you're writing with it. So you know you you're writing with something. <laughs> you can't really see what I what I'm writing here, can you? Um, <clears throat> now, I'm going to do some reverse writing. You do get it reverse writing, a very fine line if you needed that, but I don't really personally. I don't re I don't re reverse writing. I don't reverse write. So, but. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice line it gives you, yeah. And it is a nice, nice flow. Bit of feedback. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I like it. <laughs> Just looking at it, that, that green is particularly striking uh, there are little um elements of white 
uh, resin in there, a little flex of white, the emerald green. It has a very jewel-like quality to it. Gold trim, which works really nicely with it. There's a bit of gold banding right here, and just at the top of the section, there's a gold trim. There's a double band on the cap. There's depth to the finish. You're looking into the resin. You, it, there's lots of light ref, re, reflecting back at you. Very attractive pen. And, you know, it would be nice to see Schaefer in the hands of, of a company. Or, or, you know, not necessarily even in the hands of a new company, but it would nice. It would be lovely to see these great old manufacturers from the early era, the golden era of fountain pens, take a look at their history and reintroduce some of these pens. And, and you know, I, I'm talking about the fact that it was, you know, reading online, it, rec it talks about the fragility of it. So maybe fix those issues, come out with a classic, beautiful balance, balance three. Why not? Why not do the balance three with gold nib? Bring back manufacturing in the United States. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Canada here, but I'm saying, you know, but all, I guess all the, the craftsmanship of those, of that period, uh, those people are long gone. So it would, yeah, it would be kind of hard to do that. I'm just rambling right now. I'm just saying, I'm just looking at these pens and I'm thinking, man, just, just reissue them. Get, you, you, you probably have the, the tools stored away somewhere that produce these pens, produce these nibs. Dust them off. Start making new ones, you know? Bring back the fact that Schaefer is one of the great companies of fountain pen manufacturing. And, uh, yeah. I like this pen a lot. Uh, would I get one myself? It's As I said, it's not my own. I probably, if I... If I came across one, I probably would pick one up. I haven't really uh, searched for any, actually. But, yeah, I probably would pick one up because it's a very handsome pen. There are other um, Schaefer's that I would really like to have, like the Schaefer Pen for Men or the Schaefer uh, Imperials, even a Schaefer Targa. I have a couple older Schaefer's. I have a Schaefer Snorkel and uh, a couple other ones. but they're, And they're quite nice pens. But, uh, yeah... All in all, I would say I like this pen a lot. Um, handle it with care if you do own one. Just don't post it because the, uh, you might get a crackage here. And also, you you don't want to scratch this beautiful barrel. It's just beautiful. Uh, I like the shape. You know, it, even though this shape came out in the 1929, it's, it's a classic shape. You know, it's just a classic pen. And, uh, yeah. There you have it, the Schaefer Balance 2 in jade green, number 874 with a medium nib. And Oh, yes, and so this color came out in 1998. I should toss that out just to give you a dating period. And uh, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Just me rambling as usual. Uh, sometimes when I'm writing, doing these videos, I'm just, I start looking at the pen and I get kind of sucked in, which kind of happened today, but because the color is just beautiful. And uh, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. I have a couple other, uh, I have another Schaefer I'm going to be looking at in the next day or two. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And if uh, you want to look at some older videos, there's all kinds of weird things I'm doing. So anyway, bye bye.